Hello, I'm Donis. Mm. This is a VOT review. Uh, mostly scrims in a six stack. Playing May Winston for vast majority. Looking for critiques of initiation, target priority, and game sense. As they think they it's the weakest part of his Winston play. So we'll just jump right into it see what happens um when they get on point what i'd like us to try to do is to just rotate through hotel okay so we're gonna let them jump on us and then jump through hotel um we're gonna try to jump them at the choke okay. but if that doesn't work no. out then we just fall back, go through the hotel. I'll speed boost, I'll speed boost just through. Um, in this, can you call targets? Either you or Gana. I'm gonna skip all the dialogue. <laughs> just analyze the gameplay itself. Start blasting their right, archers, jump. Okay. Alright, go. We're going. Ooh. Um, here, I think you jumped too early. Um, it looked like you were trying to go straight for the bulk. And they haven't really fully revealed their self yet. Like, all they can do here is step on the point. And it looks like they're not really what? stepping on it as of yet. Someone's on the right side over here, if you can kind of tell. Like, um, honestly, diving that target maybe would have been a lot better because they're separated and they're by themselves. So if you jump on that target and focus them down, then they'll definitely die fast and they'll be down one man and they don't want that they'll probably back out or something or try to get ult charge um yeah i think you were too hasty in your in jumping first um i mean like the healers are like right here as you can see like you could probably chip them down but i feel like you were too hasty and you want to be kind of patient and watch what's happening in the fight like the fight hasn't even started yet you're initiating this fight and your defensive spawn king's row and you don't want you have the disadvantage because they have the attacking spawn and attacker spawn and king's row is very strong and they just have a better chance of capping first in fact like a lot of teams know they can't hold first point king's row very well so they usually just try to get some ult charge and try to take the time down to as little as possible before the other team caps it because usually the other team should be capping it if they're attacking. Um, but let's see what happens after this jump. Okay, I like how you walked into the, the room with the health pack. That's good. You want to try to uh, maintain your health and keep watch of um or be careful of just any damage you might take because winston's very big target and easy to kill sometimes so that's good oh i fucked up the jump call the widow though is he down? down widow's gonna die oh, seems like that you can kill easily, but uh, there's two tanks that you can't really kill last. So. Uh, 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 You're still alive. Looks like, you know, let's regroup. This is like a typical King's Good Row calls, scenario. Yeah. But I think I think if you jumped in a little bit later on the first jump, you might have been able to stall out the time more because typically what you want to do on defense on King's Row is to stall the point out as much as you can. Um, if they don't see where you guys are when they're coming into the point or potentially touching the point uh, for the first time in King's Row on attack, then 
you want to be in the area where you were i think like here yeah like right here is good um and just wait for them to dive the point over here and when you see them touching the point that's when you can probably dive but you can like also like peek out like you just did um before stuff started happening but yeah i don't know if i can get there okay yeah like this you can like peek right here where you're standing right now um and like see where they're coming from but otherwise um seemed like good calls nimbus you guys were too early to initiate guys last couple people where they had attack response so they were able to come back to the yeah they got it they needed to be a little faster I like how you're going up there. Oh, yeah. good. I mean, like, if you, like, engage completely into their back line, like, if you were to jump off, like, here, like, that's no good because then you're by yourself and I don't know if anyone's behind you. I don't think anyone is, but, um, yeah, I like, this is, like, putting pressure on them to force them to go to the cart, essentially, and regroup, I guess. Um, putting pressure like this usually doesn't seem like anything, but if you were to look at the enemy's eyes, like this Winston is literally by himself and he's nowhere near the cart. He should be pushing the cart because, you know, um, they're attacking. So, um, and they just, they, their cart is just coming out of the, the garage there. So... Putting pressure like this makes them, forces them to go to another path and essentially now he has to push through main if you're still here. But you can obviously back off here. I think you're probably going to do that, but we'll see. Can't do half of that. Can't do half of that. Uh, so tip for Winston, um, typically you don't want to jump on a Widow that you just seen and or a Genji that you just seen because the Genji can probably, not only is there two people here by the way, um, there's like probably more coming through uh, the choke because the payload's kind of there I think and also, you're kind of by yourself. I think your D.Va came down with you too, but she didn't really do a good job of defense matrixing you unless you got burst damage right in the face. Then your D.Va should have came with you. Especially when it's like this scenario, I would have my D.Va, or I would tell my D.Va, hey, I'm about to jump the Widow. Can you DM me as in like defense matrix? Because uh, the Widow is going to like destroy you with a one headshot, 300 damage. That's already like gone. And then Genji can do a bit of damage to you too, and your head, the head, the the head hitbox size is really big for Winston, so um, you can take critical damage really fast. And it looks like you're already down to 50 health, so let's go back a little bit and see what happens. Got you. Okay. Can't do half of that. Yeah, I think you were too hasty to initiate. Your diva didn't look like she was ready. She should have gone out first. Flown to the Widow, and then you jump on the Widow. Then you guys can potentially do more damage to her. So, if you, if you, kinda, you feel kind of rushed here um, by the looks of it. Especially with the first jump as well on the map and the, the first point. Oh, uh, you got the Discord too, so that's why you're getting destroyed here. Ah, and they had a Zarya. Your Diva's probably gonna die too. Yeah, she got the max. And she's dead. And then they're just finishing up a team wipe, so. Is that not point as well? Oh. Good. We're just looking for early picks to so don't go. Take your time as well. It's good you're waiting here. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Nice, okay. nice well, bubble just... zoning there. I liked how you didn't go out of your bubble completely because they're just out of range, but you weren't getting too greedy with uh, chasing them down, so that's good. Hello. It's like Genji's one, nice. Okay, now you're kind of. Okay, so what I just noticed is that their Winston bubbles. They put their Winston bubble down. Like, typically, when you see Winston bubble down like that, um, you don't want to jump into it right away. Because not only will you not get healed by your Ana, but your Lucio is probably too far behind to get his aura on you either. And he doesn't do that much healing in comparison to Ana. Especially when you have a lot of damage done to you already. Okay. Yeah. Well, your Ana can't even heal you if you jump into this bubble. But I guess you've seen it too late because uh, the bubble wasn't really there before. It's weird. Is that on point as well? I feel like you should have okay. peeked a little bit. Yeah, I see you saw the bubble. That was kind of risky. At least get the Genji and then walk back, turn around, maybe ult even. I don't know. They still have the oh, card. Come on. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you did trade and you guys are on defense. Oh, you guys are contesting as well. That's good. So it might have been okay. Uh, did they have walls? Oh, boy, maker? But the fight doesn't seem Once like it's going too well for you guys. Yeah, you guys are losing it now. Sends one. Sends one on point. But like, to think in the best case scenario, you probably want to consider the little things like that. But still, the walk back to this payload is still pretty long, considering that it's for this checkpoint here. And um, yeah, it's a long look back. Like, it's... If anything, they're gonna have a shorter respawn time until they hit the checkpoint. Otherwise, it's gonna be an equal amount of time. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I think you should have tried to play that more carefully, especially when you guys don't want to be down when they have six up. So, I mean, it's it's fine that you got the Genji, but I think uh, having Winston alive in every scenario especially when it's a dive it's like pretty crucial unless like your dps clutches it out or something right yeah we gotta fall back because they can't rely on oh, every time good job the one scene that's nice good ult again i have widow somewhere below but i can't find her gotta get that to ult we have a little here to get that to ult seem kind of panicked get a point gotta stay on point gotta get a point Right. Typically, when I when I use Primal Rage, if there's a wall like over here and there's like a Nook and Cranny, I would try to boop like a Squishy, like a Lucio or Zen or whatever, and then like I would just knock them back and keep them into that corner so I can kill them. Because you should have enough time to kill like two Squishies, I think. Um, yeah, just uh, I mean like it's fine that you're stalling because like you guys have a pretty good. Uh, respawn here but um, this point is kind of hard to attack or defend because like it's in the middle so we'll see what happens I mean they did blow like Zen ult okay after Zen ult is done let's Hackweiser and um, or no Hackweiser is on Zen's one Zen's one we call it doesn't look like your team is here <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's my bad. I should have held the uh, Lucio up till. Yep. Oh, they've got a uh, widow in that top window. So okay, are we going or not? Yeah, going, going. Okay, well, I'm fucking dead. Yeah, you seem kind of rushed here. You're also getting damaged. You were like, you got discorded and then you got 200 damage on you. So I can understand your frustration there. Okay, well, I got the Genji go, go, go. I kind of seemed hasty. I think you should have. 
waited a little bit more. Or like had your diva with you, so you wouldn't be taking damage while you're waiting. Where's your diva? Yeah, going, going. Go. Okay, well I'm fucking dead. Yeah, you're if you're running a double dive like that, your diva should be with you. Um I don't know who's necessarily shot calling, but yeah, your diva should be more with you. Okay, well, your diva's up top. That's that is probably the most useless position for diva, especially if you're running double dive, like as in the tanks, like diva and Winston. I think your yeah, your diva should have been with you. I don't know why she was up there. You were taking damage too. Um, next time I would just suggest to tell your fellow teammate or whoever's playing D.Va if you're running double dive to come help you out because she should be able to shield you with the defense matrix. Did you go, go, go. Otherwise, okay, given that we're not actually diving anymore, I'm switching to Ryan. Mm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do this, um. I mean, I get that you feel like Winston has no value, so you're switching. So that's that's good. Um, I respect that. Um, but I feel like you guys are just not diving together, it seems like. Um, as Winston, or main tank, as Ryan even. Like, people should be following where you're basically going. Um, they should be... Uh, not directing where you're going but i mean it's up whoever's the shot caller i guess could say where to go but as main tank you want to kind of anchor down a certain area and like have it secure or try to space out uh the enemy team winston's more of a spacer ryan is kind of like a uh defend defender of an area so he does he does zone if he wants to with shield hopping or you know, just whatever. Like, wherever he holds his shield, basically. If he walks back and forth, then he's zoning. Um, if he's holding it side to side, then he's defending, I guess. Um, but, yeah, typically you want to secure an area. And then, like, have your team be able to make a push into the enemy wherever you are standing or, like, are currently at. Um, yeah, let's just continue this. <laughs> Okay, he'll get wow. He's done. He's done. You can see here, like the other team, the Winston is with the Genji, and the the side tank or Zarya for in this instance is ready to is standing a little bit back on the side, like waiting to like bubble the Winston or the uh, Genji. So they're all working together. This is like the trio of dive. Or this could be a diva even, and like defense matrixing the Winston so that when this Genji is shooting at Winston, he can't do any damage to Winston. And then Winston has free damage on Genji, so. Oh, come on. This, is the this is kind of a this is kind of a weird position for Ryan. I under I, you were probably walking into the room because you were uh very low, but uh I think Hmm. This charge was kind of risky as well. Zen's one, Zen's one. Especially considering the card is right here, I think you should have waited with your team. Because it looked like you guys were already losing the fight. The D.Va just, you saw the D.Va was about to get suit on your team. Hopefully you saw that. Given that we're not Zen, actually Zen, diving Zen. anymore, I'm switching. Wow. Yeah, you can see, like, your D.Va's... Or that's oh, even done. You already know that... Looking at the kill feed, like you already know that your healers are dead, so no one's gonna be healing you when you go in. Um, your diva just got desuited, and you decided to go for a charge. Um, this is kind of like a hero play. Like I wouldn't do this, especially if you're Reinhardt. Um, just because like Reinhardt's kit is basically literally a sh shield right here, um, and. Doing a charge like this is essentially just throwing your life away. Unless you're unless you killed like half their team. Right? Zen's one, Zen's one. Okay. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, it was fine. Good. Yeah, you're probably gonna die here. I can already tell. 
But you guys are immensely staggered here. You don't want to be like, you don't want to be in this position when you're defending because they're gonna cap it very soon and probably under a minute, I estimate. What you can. Where we go is insane. They're still fighting me yet. Also, I don't know if that I don't know if that fire strike was. Yeah, I don't know. It might have just been me. I don't know. I might be. Okay, I'm too He's done. But it was fine. Okay. Your team shouldn't be going out anymore, because you're down. Um, especially if they have like a dive, I would just wait and spawn because they have so much mobility so they can literally go to your spawn, kill all of you guys that are coming out, and then go back to the card. Or they have the potential at least. Um, so I highly advise not going out. You guys are definitely trickling right now. You guys are dying one by one, just going in. Where we go is insane. Your teammates are still going out, and yet half your team is already dead. Okay. I like I like how you're swinging here. Your Ana's back, I think. Yeah, your Ana's back. Don't. Okay, so, um, if if uh, Winston puts his bubble down, I highly advise not going in it until it's destroyed, or like I wouldn't I wouldn't go in it at all. I would try to destroy the sh the bubble unless I know that. Um, my teammates are shooting at the bubble, like if I knew my soldier would shoot at the bubble every time he saw one, um, then I would just, like, uh, go in and I guess to, like, chase, like, uh, the Winston maybe to get, like, a couple of old charge, maybe the Lucio if he's walking this way, like, over here where Winston is, but otherwise, um, I advise not walking to the bubble, but we'll see what happens. He's up high ground. Yep, the Lucio was dumb enough to get into you. He's probably gonna die. Oh, just kidding. Um, turns out Sorry, positioning no. here, this is kinda weird. Um you are low now, you should probably put up your shield. Yeah. Here, there you go. Watching my shield. Uh yeah, I guess so, since you saw the Genji all, this is good. I would I would swing at a Genji too. And you are already high. I can't sleep. Oh, they should have pinned that Genji. Oh, Genji's so low! How the fuck did I miss him? Yeah, that the pin is really weird. It's like if it's like pretend this is Reinhardt, like if you were to go for a pin, if they're like anywhere like like the hitbox, like the furthest of the hitbox range, like which is like a little bit around the character, like Reinhardt. Pretend this is Reinhardt, by the way. Um, then, if you're strafing right, like if you're pressing your D key, if you're bind binded to WASD for movement, um, then uh, if you're strafing right, which is D, when you're charging, then if they're on your left side, they're just gonna get booped by you. Like it's gonna it's gonna throw them like this way or that way, um, and same goes for when you're strafing left and they're on the right side of you, then they're gonna get boops this way or that way, or even straight. Sometimes it pops them up because if they're like jumping midair, um, like if they press their space bar and then they're they are within the contact range, then they're just gonna get boops straight up in the into the air. So. Uh, it's really weird. It's just like... Get off point. Uh, Zarya's yeah. dead. That's pretty good. Goes in the uh, back. Looks like you guys are winning the fight. Dead. Make a loop. Good job. Good dead. We're just going nice. in the back. Solid dead. Captain Winston. Very good. Yeah. There's nothing you can really do. You can't pull up your gun. I'm in you. Top, top left. Yeah. The little border. 
Anybody can kill him? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's in there. So in terms of game sense, I'd say um, you guys kind of have a problem trickling in. Um, just be patient. Uh, I know sometimes you want to get into the action, and like I'm guilty of that, or I was guilty of that a lot uh, when I first played video games, but uh, Overwatch really taught me to really just like honestly just wait like there's i mean if you're trying to get the win then i would say just be a little bit more patient and press tab every now and then to make sure your team's alive or has ultimates so you guys can use ultimates whenever you need to um but yeah i think you guys you guys are like all set because you guys have respawn advantage right now so uh, we'll see what happens in the next map, maybe. This looks like he's low. So he's gonna have a chance to attack. Zarya's got no bubbles. Good. Good job noticing that Zarya has no bubble. Um, and Winston popped his bubble already, so. Good job. Oh, thanks. Ooh, I think you were a little bit too far. The soldier was right side, I think. No one got him. That was strange. I think he went for the shatter. Yeah, he's, rock he's rocking right side. Dang, you missed that. You probably didn't see it because of the Zarya bubbles, but... Bubbles. He's still alive and you're taking an amount of damage. Good job. I know you just shattered, oh, but like... Uh, you, should always, you should always keep track of your health when you're shattering. Because you never know who's behind you, potentially. Even, like, even even if you, excuse me, if you, even if you knew, like, if someone wasn't in here initially, they could have gone in there when there's, like, stuff happening, you know? I know you're, like, getting caught up in the moment, and, like, you, there's a lot of going on on your screen, but just try to be careful with that stuff. Like, it feels like you don't need to let your guard down every moment. Like, when you get a fat shatter, it looks beautiful, right? You want to take in the wonder, but, like, um, if you are going for the win, you probably might want to uh, observe uh, left and right frequently and, like, make sure your teammates are watching what's happening. Make sure that they're calling out stuff and listening to those calls and making sure that it's safe to go ham or whatever. Or make sure your Ana's in the line of sight of you. Because the payload's in the smack middle here. So like you were around this corner, so she was probably getting blocked or was reloading maybe, I don't know. But that was a good chatter though. Soldier's low at the back door. <sighs> Soldier's low, on point. I'm dropping kills on point. Wow, that pin was good, man. Very good. Nice job holding shield. Well. Okay. They dropped the beat, so they're trying to damage you guys now. And they just like you want to. Soldiers off. Okay, Soldiers. I knocked their soldier off. Right, no, I, 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 someone Put get him. I... Uh, yeah, you looked really desperate here. I think you should play more patiently. Seems you can't like kill him. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, instead of going for that last swing, I think you should have put your shield up because Soldier's pretty fast. Like, he has sprint, so, like, he's a lot more mobile and faster than Reinhardt, even if he backpedals sometimes. Um, and you were, like, 24 health or something. You are pretty low. Soldier's top right. Soldier's top right. He, someone called that out. Oh, shoot. I went too far. Oopsie daisies. Um, where are we? I am dead. Okay. I'm on my cream, my cream, my cream. Oh wait, this is attack. Oops. Okay. Soldier's low at the back door. Soldier's low. Top point. Engine on the flag. Top point. I knocked their soldier off. No, I, 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 someone get him. I can't kill him. You saw him reloading too. He was about to search. Ah, fuck. Just so. 
like i would try to notice the little things as well like it seems it seems kind of like redundant or like like why should i look for those things but like honestly sometimes the little things kind of add up now you guys don't have to i'm gonna just be in a fight while you're dead they're gonna point. They back. probably won this. Yeah, just use use blade. Close. Unless your Genji clutches it, but they have crap. They have point. Yeah. Coming out right door. Yeah. Sure. I'll come left door. If I see. It is. Only, yeah. only. Yeah. That last part was. I can't really say anything about that because you guys were really yeah, we, we should have dropped a lot of your team. That team is not yeah. so. Especially like on the, the straight stretch there, we did, like we just never really coordinated a dive. Yeah. Yeah, I think we had shots, right? Like, I'm gonna skip until you guys are starting around. Okay, sweet. Sorry, yeah. right on the down. Hi. Look, you guys are trying to yeah, dive again. Uh, let's see how it goes this time. Yeah, they were. Um. Wrong one point. Mm, I like this. Far, far. Pharmacy. Okay. Making sure that everyone's in position, that's good. They're in hotel. They're as weak. Oh, we lost one. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I mean, the Pharaoh isn't weak at that point anymore, but I'm I'm very impressed, or I'm very satisfied that you went for the jump because they made the call that she was lit and you went for her. And Winston can kill Pharaoh's midair, so at least half of their day or half of their health and you did that to mercy too like she's half health right now because of your jump nice we got one oh, I'm on the top. Oh, mercy's low but she got bubble she's fine now mm. no bubbles. going into the hotel is kind of risky but i guess so it's since it's they're jumping. looking at the point right now because widow's getting two, one. one all right i mean it was a little bit too early zen's low in the back Bob, so. Mercy's low in the back. Oh, Mercy's dead. We got the Mercy to get the. Oh, my bad. Send down. Helping out your support. They're on a dive though. He's very, very low in the back. Good kill. Soldier's low. Oh, I didn't say something insane. One dive, you dove into them. Yeah, like when you dove here, this was kind of risky. You find out. Because I don't know if you're on. No bubbles. You're on. Was still kind of behind. So it's not ready to shoot Jumped at you. Three, two, one. Yeah. See, you're All like right. if you're sitting here and she's still around the corner, like she's not gonna be able to heal you until later. I would. Then she has to spend all of her resources trying to heal you up. So I would try to poke at the Rhine and then jump the Mercy and make sure that someone can follow up on the mercy with you. But the tracer came from Zen's low in the back. Bomb, so. We're not tracer. Mercy's low in the back. Mercy's dead. Mercy. Oh, what? Oh, we got the mercy. Okay, that works. Oh, my bad. Zen down. Zen down. I mean, if the Lucio can kill him, can you have one? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I thought a Lucio player that he was very, very low in the back. Kill. Soldier's low. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I just did something insane. This was a pretty good first point. <laughs> oh, I literally... Just the healers back here. Is everybody... I'm by myself. Never mind. Yeah, you're like... Sorry. Like, the way you were positioned at fountain... Or statue, I mean. You're... That was... Pretty good. Excuse me. Remember, guys, you want to push right? up. Yep. Push up, guys. Did you have... Yeah, you can't really... I can't really do much here. You're already down your bubble. I think the bubble was a little bit too hasty, but I think you were trying to avoid taking damage. So Genji's still up there, though. I mean, they're backing off, so like, it's totally fine. Let's wait my walls out. But if their whole team was there, then I would have, yeah, I would have definitely put down the bubble and just backed off. Okay, I'm almost doing it. But then you wouldn't have a bubble for defense, so it's kind of like a. My ultimate is charging. You gotta play how you play. Uh, do you think they're... Soldier is in my He's dead, he's dead. Soldier's dead. Alright, alright. We have an advantage, we should go in. I mean, you saw the Genji there, he didn't use his dash yet, and now he has dash, and now he escaped, so... Potentially a free pick, but... Zen, just, honestly, I wouldn't have jumped there, I would have just chased him down, and then jumped after I saw him dash. You have to sit. 
Yeah, I'm gonna nano you. Just jump in. Whenever you're ready. Right Anna's weak. Anna no nade. Good nade. Sorry, it's low. Listen, I'm hurting on for the Ana. Yeah, Ana's a soldier. Yeah, Ana's dead. Okay. Ana and I traded for each other. You should all. Smile. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yeah, in, our, in very high levels of play, I would say that. Uh, uh, they got a tracer in the back. Usually right. the teams would just back um, off I've immediately if, some, if someone gets picked because. Unless you guys have like a lot of ults, then sure you guys can blow like one or two ults and to wipe them up. Even if you're one down because you have respawn from this this standpoint. And they're going to be respawning if you heal them all. So you could probably get a free push. But otherwise I would... Yeah. It really depends on the level of play. Like if they don't understand like their respawn times and like how respawns would work with ultimates usage then in four seconds do we want to speed in and then use the Lucy i guess wall? since they yes. blew all their ults that was right fine. i'm ready okay let's go great yeah. oh, sorry guys down Honestly, right. I'm gonna die as well. Sorry, you're first. Sorry, you're first. Drop the tracer. Sorry, you're half. Sorry, you're one. Sorry. You're looking good, sorry. Sorry, Mucky, I hurt. Mucky, I hurt. Mucky. She's really low. She's low. I bombed him. He is late. I am. Okay. I'm on my creep. My creep. My creep. Creep's low. You're probably gonna die to me. Yeah. I'm on Anna in the back. I'm going back here. Yeah, sorry. I liked how you were falling right, into the team, up. but I think you guys should have gone for the Zarya after Bubble was done. She was kind of high energy too. Thank you! Alright. Oh, help, help, help! Your, you didn't drop your shield when she pulsed it. You can drop your shield when she pulses your shield. Like, you see how this is on your shield? And not on you. If it would have said stuck in big letters, if it stuck on you, if that's the case, I would put up the shield. But otherwise, I would drop the shield as soon as she puts it on, and then rotate toward the direction of where the pulse bomb was. So in this instance, I would drop my shield here uh, when she sticks it on the left side, and then just drop it, turn to the left, and then face the pulse bomb on the left, and then that way it hurts no one. Except for your shield, maybe. And then, of course, like if it's on the right side, I would just drop it down, look to the right, and then make it just wait until it explodes, and then put my shield up. Or keep my shield up back up, because they are all. The whole te enemy team is here right now. So. Help, help, help! Stay back out the spawn, back to spawn, back to spawn, back to spawn. Okay, good call. They're they diving. They have a semi dive? They have a McCree. Uh, the the oh, this is not over. We'll get an expert though. I mean, you could have a McCree with the uh, right right there. Back right. Let's kill Tracer. Seems not very good. Oh, nice Tracer's over. Tracer's over. Take her down. She's behind us. McCree behind us. McCree behind us. You're in the shield here, Daniel. She's not taking high ground. I guess you're in the shield. Alright, I got Tracer. Nice job, nice job. Yep, let's push, let's push. Anna no nade. Anna no nade. Got the end. Zarya, 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 Zarya. Nice charge. Oh, good charge. Yeah. He's almost down. Good job. I like how you're not going to bump it for... I'm almost out of grab for safe place. Good, shield up. Go up, go up, go up. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. He's too far away for you. Grabbing left side. Oh my god, the charge is uh, what? You, they just walked past you, dude. Uh, you know, Wait, let me point. see. I don't know, Nade, what? Or, who's your one? Grabbing left side. Uh, right you see you see no one over here. I'm asleep. Uh, you know, You're probably wondering why the Hirazaria was there. Oh, you have Shadow. You can Ooh, you got Blame boots. Point. They have a Demon on this back. Her Shadow, because Winston was ulting. Push it down. Yeah. We got a May, be careful. Winston's one. Winston's no, 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 no. Dead. Anna, left. May, no ice so block. Kill Anna, kill Anna. Mm. Anna I would say that if you're Reinhardt, I wouldn't play Mew with Sedge, especially if they have booping characters, but. 
I mean, if you're trying to secure a kill, I mean, go for it. But... Oh, on us one. Sorry. Looks Sorry, like you guys are okay, winning. Only back you guys should be. Uh, okay. Kenji, Kenji, Kenji. probably doesn't need you. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. He's got his charge. They're all there. Maybe the other team is immensely staggered. Hello? Hello? Looks like they... I like how you're putting your shield up for that main. Get his half, get his half. Get his one, get his one. Big bit deep is low, get his super low. Get his one, get his one. Ooh, fat shadow. Ryan, 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 Ryan. Ryan. That was a sick ult. I like how you waited a little bit before ulting there, making sure that it was good. Got him! Got always him. do that for Shatter. Oh. There's always a split second yeah, where you wait before you Shatter Shut to make down sure that it's a good Shatter. Hard. He just two Even shot me every Shatter is song. like a ripple effect so that anything yep, further away will take more time to Shatter them. They had seconds on the clock so we actually get a chance slightly to Slightly more, maybe like a millisecond or two more. I don't know. Okay. Oh, they want to go back. They want to back out? It's pretty solid. Okay, now we can group uh, up and not fuck everything up. Yeah. Man, their Lucio, their Lucio boops like a few of us to our deaths, and I feel bad about that. Mm -hmm. I should have stayed on the left side of payload, but they were all coming from left side. So. Oh, I don't remember. I put... yeah. At least you had silver. So, like, a year. Approximately. So for the King's Row game, I would say that you guys had trouble trickling on defense. Um, I feel like it wasn't just you, it was your team in general. They weren't. You guys should wait for your main tank, aka your Ryan or Winston, before pushing. Or if it's a dive, then really depends what you guys are trying to go for. If you guys are trying to secure a kill, and there's not really much time, there's a time restraint, then I'd say, of course, just go whenever you can. But if you're running standard, like a Reinhardt, I would wait for the Reinhardt before everyone should, or like you guys, everyone should wait until the Reinhardt comes back and then sit behind shield, especially if they have like a head scan character, like Widow, the Kree soldier, because they will they'll do a lot of damage to any of your teammates. But otherwise, you guys did great. It's pretty solid. Mm, what's happening here? Why isn't it loading? Okay, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's just try to go mean on the point and try to dive in as soon as we see them. If we can, try to go for the supports. But if you don't see the supports, try to kill the DPS. Maybe we'll just pull out with you. If anyone's out of position, go for them. Too. 